past this haunted mansion in Bloxburg. And when you try to open it, it says, well, the door is locked. Talk to Sabrina the witch at her snack stand and maybe she knows about this old house. So this is the full tutorial on how you guys can get into the haunted house. Basically, we streamed for seven days, guys. Yes, this was a seven day quest. Super fun. And it's finally over. So we're gonna do the whole quest all in one go. So if you guys need help on any part of the quest, hopefully this helps you. And let me know if this helps you by leaving a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Uh, Sabrina, you know, yeah, let's do that. But the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and talk to Sabrina. She is at her Sabrina Snacks, which is right next to the haunted house. So let's go here. Click the talk button. And she says, hello, can I help? What's the deal with the locked haunted mansion over there? That's the home of Helen Von Vlox, who has been haunting the farm for a long time. It is believed that her ghost has been unable to find closure in this life. So how can I help? Well, if you're brave enough, you will need to talk to the ghost and find out what's binding her to this world. I can lend you a hand with that and you can brew a potion that will let you see them. But unfortunately, I lost the potion recipe book somewhere in the barn. Bring it to me and I'll make you a potion. Goodbye. So here is the first quest, guys. We need to find her potion book because she lost her potion book. So what we want to do is go up this tree and it's actually inside the barn, but on the second floor. We might we need to do some parkour, okay? We need to do some parkour. So what you want to do is get on this tree. Just go on the side over here if I could. Come on. Come on. I was so good at this before. Why, why am I so bad now? Okay, I'm stupid and I didn't know that we could actually open this barn door. So that makes it so much easier. We don't have to jump across. But anyways, here it is, guys. Here is Sabrina's a book. So you want to go ahead and grab this Sabrina's book and just take it right over here to Sabrina. Here you go, Sabrina. Here's your book. You're back and you found the book. That's just what I need to get started. It is written in some cryptic language though so i need some time to translate the pages so for now practicing some potions using the cauldron over there just add an item and see what happens come back later now usually i would have to wait a day but since it's already all out we can continue i think i found the recipe we need but i'm gonna need your help brewing it i need you to make me a potion using the cauldron make me a potion consisting of something weightless so for this potion we're gonna have to use a balloon and to make potions all you want to do is go back here and there's a cauldron you use it put in the put in the balloon and boom you have a weightless potion so we're gonna go back to sabrina here give her the potion that's it this is the potion of levitation. It's the first effect we need. Next, I need you to brew me a potion using something loud. So for this, you can use a couple of items. I know some people use the guitar. You can use baby rattles because babies are loud. I use the chainsaw specifically, so I'm just going to use a chainsaw again. So let's throw that in there and go back to Sabrina here and give her this potion. Wow, a potion of haunting. Hmm, it's the correct potion, but the mixture is not what I expected. It feels like something is wrong. I will need to investigate it further. Come back later. This will may take me some time again doesn't take time so we'll just talk to her again welcome back i believe i might have found the problem i seem to have made an error in my translation translation of this cryptic language i'm not familiar with these particular symbols i need you to bring me a deciphering book from the city hall to help me translate the correct translation so now we have to go to city hall guys so let's go ahead and grab my car hopefully it didn't get towed all right here we are at the city hall and we're trying to find a book so this book i don't know if it's random but the book for me was on the left side over here and then in the one two three four five six oh no five okay it's in the fifth bookcase on the left side and you just want to take that book so it might be random i don't really know it was actually in the same spot here again so just go to the fifth bookcase and it should be in one of these bookcases so now that we have sabrina's uh, cryptic spell book here let's go ahead and give it back to her also big fyi guys if the book doesn't show up or anything like that you have to do this in order like you have to talk to sabrina and if sabrina doesn't tell you to go to city hall don't go to city hall okay don't don't skip any steps like keep talking to Sabrina and follow what she says because if you do a step a little too early you won't find it I know a lot of people were like where's the book it's because they didn't go talk to Sabrina first so make sure to do all that before um doing the actual quest what is happening okay I was like what's happening I don't know why this account has such a hard time loading in things but oh my gosh it does there you go Sabrina I brought you the book Thank you. I will start translating that page again. Come back later. Again, don't have to come back. So it says that for the next potion, we need something bright. Can you brew me that potion? So for this, you can use a candle. I use a candle. I don't know if anything else works. I mean, you could probably use a flashlight and all that. But I'm going to go ahead and put a candle inside the cauldron. We have a potion of something bright. 
Let's go ahead and give her that. That is a pretty mixture, I believe. That is the potion of ghost vision. Let's try adding them together, and they're mixing. Now for the final one. Oh no, that's not a good sign. The file page is missing. I will look for some information on where to find it. Come see me again, and hopefully I will have this figured out. Okay, time to talk to her again. So I spoke to my friend Suzanne, and she said that Alan has caught something fishing. He is a fisherman by the Ferris wheel. Go see him and see what you can find. So for the next task, we're going to go with see Alan, who is the fisherman um, at the fishing dock area. So let's go head on over there. Okay, here we are at the dock here. And over here is fisherman Alan. You don't really have to talk to him. There is a paper right next to him. So just take that. And now we just have to drive all the way back to Sabrina. There's a lot of driving in this if you haven't already uh, figured it out. <laughs> and here we are back at Sabrina. So let's go ahead and give her this piece of paper. Let's see. It fits. It's apparently Alan finished fished it up from the river. Thanks for bringing it. Now I need some time to translate this. Come see me again. So we're going to go ahead and talk to her again. Hi again. The translation is done for our final potion. It says that you need a, you need something see-through. Huh. I wonder what that means. I'm sure you'll figure it out. So for this task, you need to make a ghost transparent type of potion. And for this, you use glasses. So here I have some glasses. We're going to go ahead and put that in the cauldron. Make this potion and give it back to her. And there we go. You did it. The ghastly potion. That's the final piece. Now we need to mix them all together. This is a delicate process. So again, it takes a while. But again, we don't need to wait. So let's Let's talk to her again. It's finally finished. Here, take it. This is a phantom perception potion. And this will allow me to see ghosts. And so Sabrina will give you this potion over here. You want to go ahead and drink it. And a ghost will pop up in the back, guys. Hold. Hold. Where is she? Where's the ghost? There she is. There's Helen Von Vlux. And then you finally get to talk to her. Hello, Helen. So she says a lot of stuff. Again, I read all this in my streams. So you're going to check those out. Um, but she has remorse, basically, because she's attached to this world. Um, because her husband thinks that she he murdered her. But it's not the case. Stuck on this earth. She wants to go to the afterlife with her husband, basically. So the relic to make her spirit go away lies in the mansion. But we need a key. And so this key was buried alongside her. Her. So now we have to go to the graveyard and basically, um, yeah, dig up her grave. <laughs> I feel like a grave robber. And to be honest, I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing a robbery like type of outfit, guys. This is so funny. I'm just, uh, don't mind me just robbing your grave. Don't, don't, don't worry. All right, here we are at the graveyard and there are a ton of graves that you could dig from, but the specific grave that you want to dig from is this one that has a little witch hat on it. So we want to dig this. You need a shovel, by the way. So let's go ahead and get the shovel, dig this up. There is a little bit of a jump scare. There we go. We have a little skeleton jump scare. And then Helen comes out as well and giggles. And then there's the key. There's a key inside of the grave. So there we go. We're going to grab that key. And then we're going to go return back to Helen. All right. Here we are back at Helen. The problem with things not loading. I, it looks so bad. Okay, whatever. Here we go. Hee hee. I apologize if moving my skeleton caused any fright. It was her in the graveyard. You know, she lives a boring life. Okay. She's been, she's been alive for so long. So now we have the key and we can now go inside the haunted mansion so here we go guys we can open the door ah look at that woohoo we finally opened the door now you can explore and do all that um like this over here look at that wow but basically we need to get to the upstairs floor now there is a way to bypass this i'm not gonna lie so basically to get to the upstairs you need to fix finish this um what you call it maze so if there's a trap door here somewhere i don't want to fall into it there's a trap door here um there it is there's a trap door there's a maze that you have to go through but i'm going to show you guys an easier way to do it okay don't fall in that trap forget the maze we're just going to parkour ourselves up because that maze took me a while i'm not going to lie because i'm stupid but to parkour up all we're going to do is climb on that and then boom you can now go inside of the top floor what just happened i just got glitched back to my plot what Oh my gosh, wait guys, maybe it doesn't let you bypass it. Maybe I have to go through the maze. <laughs> and in the living room, there's a trap door. You fall through it and there is basically a maze that you have to go through. I don't really know the exact way of the maze. I just walk and figure it out. So let's see if this works. <laughs> oh, we made it back to the kitchen. Guys, I suck at this maze. I swear, I hate it so much. I was trying to bypass it and then look what happened. They don't want anyone bypassing the maze, I guess. Okay, there we go. I'm not gonna lie. I cannot tell you guys how to do the maze. I just walk through it and figure it out. Maybe there's someone with a maze tutorial, but I'm dumb and I don't know how to do the maze. I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, the maze takes you upstairs to the upstairs floor. Um, There's a library here. There's a little 
tree area um and then there's the bedroom and in this bedroom the locket is right here on this picture frame so you want to grab that also guys there's a baby room so i'm thinking that sabrina is the kid of helen and victor i don't know about that but maybe but anyways all i want to do is a fall down here after all that work we found the locket and we're gonna go talk to helen once more so hello helen i brought you your locket i found this locket on the top floor it might be yours it is indeed now we have to go to the fairy ring so she communicates with her husband like it's such a cool story guys so on the other side there's like this little mushroom thing over here um so you want to go over here there's a locket already there you use it and there we go guys we have helen and victor's ghost and then they basically just talk about it and like how victor has remorse about like you know not being in the afterlife and the experiment was all his fault it was a tragedy and then well Helen forgives him because he's like, she's like, that's not your fault, you know, sweetie. It's okay. <laughs> so where I carry regrets uh, that uh, would not be uh, one of them. I pray that within thyself thou shalt to discover the strength to grant thyself forgiveness so that we might finally be together once more. My dearest Helen, only if I, only I had understood, no matter I shall find solace in our reunion. Though it will be a challenging endeavor, I shall exert every effort to extend forgiveness onto myself. So he forgives himself. Helen's like, yes. And then boom, guys, challenge completed. We get ourselves a trophy. So now they say, now I may find solace knowing that my husband hath forgiven himself. Farewell. So basically the whole time we were get, we were trying to get Helen to uh, go to the afterlife for with Victor and then Victor forgave himself. And now they're both living happily ever after and, and, and in the afterlife good for them and now i'm like who's sabrina is sabrina the daughter of them i don't know we'll just have to wait and see maybe maybe next year we'll have that story happen i hope so because now i mean there was a baby room in the mansion guys but in build mode if you go to your inventory and yeah there we go guys we have the trophy the halloween trophy it is such a it's such, it's a cute trophy guys look at that it's a little pumpkin a witch cauldron it's a really fun trophy there's a gravestone on it um yes someone was like all that for a trophy yes i like my trophy so i'm happy with it but there we go so guys that is how you do the full completed sabrina quest it is pretty long when you do it all together but if you missed any of them there you go hopefully this helps you and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i uh, thank you guys so much for joining me every morning for the past six days of doing this quest it was super fun i'm gonna miss it a lot but don't worry i stream every single day anyways almost and i upload videos so stay tuned for that by leaving a like subscribing turning that notification bell on and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one Bye!